Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 37.3, and we've been kind of chopping down. I don't know why I gravitated towards the sample, but it's playing multiple tracks off of the eight track tape I recorded off of, and it's like a hot mess. You can hear <laughs> it's play playing two things at a time with each other, because it's playing two different, somehow, in the eight track player, it was picking up both the, I think, track one and track two signal at the same time. So we're getting like this really weird effect. And I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what we're going to make here, but I want to take and actually want to move over to, I'm bouncing around too much. I want to shift and start and end and go into chop. I just think we auto mark this. I think we do it and just go 16 and say okay to losing the marks. Let's just listen to what we get. So, I don't know. It's wacky. Uh, I think there's something I can work with here, at least just from kind of playing it a little bit. So let's just take and we'll we'll tweak some of the each of these chops afterwards. I'm just gonna do the super sloppy style. It wasn't my intent, but let's go assign to pad. I'm gonna go bank C and just we'll just work our way down and see what we get and just start editing. I'm happy with that. There's a little bit of a envelope, I think, that we want to apply. I think we want a one release. I'm actually pretty happy with this. I think an attack envelope of one. This one doesn't sound like it needs... Maybe it needs a little bit of on the release. Maybe a one release here. Sounds like maybe a one on the attack. And release. attack one release on number 10 one attack and I might consider adjusting the start point on a few of these samples That glitch just sounds kind of fun. So, I don't know, I guess that gets us some chops. I'm, I think I'm happy with that. Uh, the next thing I want to do is, while we're here, I do think I want to go make a mute group with all of these. Just make it A, it's fine. Doing the mute group for two reasons. One, I want to be able to play these and let them kind of chop each other or interrupt each other. So the mute group will make sure I can only play one of these notes at a time. The other thing that's important here is I think I want to pitch these down. So I'm going to hold, I uh, go to pitch and speed. If I hold copy down, I know I've shown this before, but this will impact the whole mute group. I think I want to pitch it down. Let's see if like minus six. Six sounds too low. I like it, but... Oh, I didn't hold copy when I did that. Getting into kind of a mess here <laughs> for a few of these, but I think there's like a few things I can kind of do as 
some uh, lines to play. So I know we're at the five minutes. I'm gonna drop drop this for today. We got some chops to work with, and uh, I don't know. We'll come back and see what we can kind of do, and maybe start thinking like drums or whatever. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. Keep making music. Have a happy holidays and peace.